Temperatures dipping below freezing overnight. That means black ice could be a factor as you start your day. King 5's Durandre live in Everett this morning with the latest conditions there in the convergence zone. Drew, good morning. Good morning, Jake. Well, this is the place to be if you want to see some snow up until just about 15 minutes or so ago. There were large flurries of snow coming down and we can see how much has built up overnight. As we take a look here, several inches that have accumulated. Look at all this fresh powder that is here. We're here on Evergreen Way. Right across the street from us are some car dealerships. That also gives you a pretty good sense of how much snow has built up in Everett going to be a lot of work this morning for these car dealerships to get up and running. A lot of clearing off these trucks and cars that you see. Let's talk about the morning commute a little bit. As you can tell from the roadways, there's a lot of snow there, even on some of the more major roads in this area too. Along I-5, we can see that there were uh, plows that were coming through. On top of that, also salt trucks coming by to try to prevent some of those icy conditions here. But of course, many of the side roads have the those plows have not gotten to yet. So there's definitely going to be a lot of snow on the road during your morning commute right now as we were driving around not too icy, but of course that can change as the morning moves on right now. No snow at all, and, and we'll see if that um, keeps up for the rest of the morning commute. For now, reporting live in Everett, Drew Andre, King 5 News. Thank you, Drew. Let's get it over to Stephen Kilbreth, who's in for Shantae this morning. Is the snow affecting the roadways at all? Well, of course, as you saw there with Drew in Snohomish County there in Everett, could be a little bit of a factor for you there. Of course, as Mimi mentioned, some ice on her windshield this morning. And of course, as I was leaving uh, Snoqualmie, I uh, had some slick roadways uh, coming off of the parkway over to I-90 this morning. So something to be aware of if you're in some of these uh, communities that have uh, icy conditions or below freezing, where we did have that uh, be a problem overnight into this morning. So something just to be aware of. Freeways seem to be moving along okay. But here's a look at that I-5 at 526 near the uh, Everett Mall. And this this is the area where we're seeing most of the uh, issues with snow on the roadways. You can see this white line that shows the weather overlay over our traffic maps. And you can see on Highway 2 for folks uh, trying to get out towards uh, Sultan or Index or places like that. And of course on Woodby Island could see some icy roadways and some snow on the roadways there as well. That doesn't mean it's not going to be icy elsewhere. It just means that that's the place that we're seeing most of it, at least for right now. There is an issue on the freeway in Tacoma. Northbound I-5, a stalled vehicle near the port of Tacoma Road. Something to watch out for if you're heading out of Tacoma. Coma this morning. All right, thanks, Stephen. Well, our mountain passes have a few inches of snow and more expected over the next several days. But before that, some ski areas could see a little rain. King 5's Anjali Kakade live on Snoqualmie Pass this morning with an update on conditions there. Good morning, Anjali. Hey, Jake and Mimi, listen, the, the, the drive up here was slow moving. That's really the big message if you're heading to the passes today. Uh, coming from Seattle, as you head closer to the pass, about 10 to 15 minutes away, you could really start to see some compacting snow on the on I-90 there. And it made just for really slow. We were going about 50 miles per hour. Lots of plows out there, a few uh, salt trucks as well. And then again, you're just going to see that line of trucks on the side as you approach the pass uh, of drivers pulled over and changing, uh, getting their uh, getting their chains on. So if you take a look behind me here at the conditions uh, where we are, this is very close to where the snow plows come in and out of that bridge that you're looking at is I-90 with that car uh, going over the bridge right there. That's uh, that's I-90. So seven about seven inches overnight. That's on top of the almost 10 to 12 that we had in the last uh, 48 hours. So just in the last 24 hours, seven. And then again, we're expecting five to 10 inches starting starting around four this afternoon into tonight. But Jake, as you said, at some point that's going to turn into rain as those temperatures start to rise tomorrow, and that might create some risk for avalanche. So today is the day if you want to come out to go skiing. Today is a good day for skiers. To, uh, it's good news for snowpack. But again, for drivers, the big message is to watch out for those snow plows. Keep plenty of distance between yourself and them, and also chains are required if you're in a vehicle that's not all wheel drive. For now, the reporting live here in don't call me past Angelique Hockaday, King 5 News. All right, thanks.